When working under pressure, one of the most important things is to remain calm. Being part of a team is the job. If you're not working together, then we won't get our job done. There's a huge variety of work that goes on on a daily basis and there's a lot going on at all times. The more determined, the more headstrong you are, the further you're going to get. My name's Victoria and I'm a firefighter in the London Fire Brigade. My name's Jonathan and I'm a midwife here at Warrington Hospital. My name's Laura, I'm a health physicist here at Hesham Power Station. Hi, my name is Christopher and I'm a performer. My name is Chantel and I am a bus driver. Being a firefighter in London entails many different things. It's not just fighting fires. Every day is different. It's a really exciting job. Being a midwife, it doesn't just involve delivering babies. Midwives look after women in labour and also after they've had their baby and we call that the postnatal period. Part of my role here is health physics. Fundamentally, it's all about keeping people safe on site from working with radiation and contamination. I am still in training to be a performer. The course that I'm on is called World Performance. We're looking at movement styles from around the world, a lot of Eastern approaches. When I first moved to Reading, that's when I decided I wanted to be a bus driver. I love the buses, all the different colours, and how new and modern they all are. I want to be part of it. No two days are the same, but we do have strict routines that we do have to apply to. So when we first turn up at the station, we do a thing called roll call. So we check that everyone's in. Then once we've done that, we check our uh, BA sets, which is our breathing apparatus. And then we check that our equipment's all working fine. I always come in every day earlier. Basically, you go around and check all the vehicle. You have to check like the wheels, all the body panels, the windows, make sure the door shuts properly so you're not gonna swing open and hit anyone. There's no usual day at Warrington Hospital. No two days are ever the same. No two babies are born the same way. So it's very unpredictable, which gives it an element of excitement and fun and spontaneity. That's not the word I want, is it? Probably the biggest challenge for me was movement. I didn't really see myself as a dancer, but the more you do it and the more you get into your body and the more you practice things, you find, okay, maybe I can actually do this. There are definitely challenges on station as part of as my role on a day-to-day -day basis, but I think the network of people that you have around you on a power station, they're there to support you and you're never on your own. When I first started out on the road, I was obviously very self-conscious. I was worried that, am I doing it right? But obviously, as time's gone on, my uh, confidence has got better. The bus can hold a lot of people, and you're in charge of their lives. Being a team is the key part of my job. Our team ranges from really tall people to really short people, and each person in that team has got their own role. And together, we make it so we can do a job really successfully. So if that means rescuing a cat from a tree, we can get that cat down, or we can put a fire out just as easily. Being a midwife that happens to also be a male is still quite uncommon. However, midwives are part of a very special moment, a moment when a family is created and witnessing a woman become a mother is an amazing thing to watch. It's an honour to be part of that moment. Coming into the nuclear industry as, as a female, we are definitely in the minority. Whilst I initially thought that could be a challenge to overcome, and I think it's really important not to be put off by a stereotypical image these days. I think that doesn't really exist anymore. When I am doing movement and stuff, I do feel in the minority because it's generally seen that women will be the dancers and the movers. It's, it's just something I'd like to see more of. I'd like to see like more of an even balance. Without foul, when I tell people that I'm a firefighter, I always get the same reaction of, wow, that's so exciting. And people are always interested to hear what I do and they always ask me what it's like to go into a fire. But mostly everyone's really impressed. Being a woman in this industry hasn't really fazed me at all. I mean, I can do all the things that the men can do. I think the customers are quite open to it as well. I mean, as long as they get home safely, they're not too bothered who's driving, to be honest. <laughs> I 
I'm part of the Fire Brigade Union. It's a great unity feeling and it's nice to know that there's someone there to help us if needs be. I'm a member of Prospect Union. For me, it's been really useful for advice on different topics at different times. A lot of the bus drivers are part of the union. For instance, if you were to have a crash, they would provide the legal help and explain to you what's going on. So far, they've been there to help me, so it's been positive being part of it, definitely. If I were to give one piece of advice to my younger self, it would be to have determination and belief in yourself and power through. To my younger self, I think I would say stick with your goals, work hard and grab it with two hands. Don't be scared to fight for what you want to do as a career and put in the effort and time to actually achieve it. Whether you're a boy or a girl, don't feel you have to be restricted to a certain profession just because of your gender. Thinking about working in a nuclear power station didn't even cross my mind <laughs> until I was up to great level, but I would just say go for it.